Number 42. What is the best coefficient of performance for a refrigerator that cools an environment at negative 30 degrees Celsius and has heat transferred to another environment at 45 degrees Celsius? All right. Uh, so for letter A, we're going to use this formula that the coefficient of performance will be equal to 1. The best coefficient of uh, performance, that is, is equal to 1 divided by the Carnot efficiency. Check out number uh, 37 for uh, how I arrived at this formula. Uh, next, what I can do is then do a substitution here, knowing that they gave us two temperatures. I realize that the Carnot efficiency right, is uh, found with that formula. So I can basically substitute this part into my formula here. So we have the coefficient of performance will then be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus temperature of the cold divided by temperature of the hot. And simply just plug in. So this is 1 minus the, remember it has to be in Kelvin. So the cold temperature here was negative 30, but you have to add the 273 to it. And then the hot was 45, and you got to add 273 to that. So the coefficient of performance will be simply equal to, let's check it out. So negative 30 plus 273, I'm going to do the denominator first, then divided by 45 plus 273. One minus that value, so the denominator is about 0.2-ish, and then divide the that denominator into the numerator, so it works to be about 4.24. All right. And that takes care of letter A. All right, so letter B. So it says, how much work in joules must be done for a heat transfer of 4,186 kilojoules from the cold environment, right? Okay, so we'll use this formula over here, all right? It says the coefficient of performance is going to equal the essentially heat donated to the hot environment divided by the work, more or less, all right? Or the, um, the heat supplied, I should say, uh, by the hot environment. Uh, but they told us here, they didn't give us, they gave us basically a uh, heat transfer from the cold environment. So I, I, I cannot use that number in this formula. I have to find Q sub C in here. But I do realize that I have a formula right over here that's going to relate Q, C, W, and Q, H, right, which might be helpful. So if I solve now this formula for Q sub, let's say, uh, H, all right, it's simply going to be just going to add this term on over to the left-hand side. So that's going to be Q sub H will be equal to then the work plus the cold reservoir temperature. And now what I can do is a simple substitution, right? I'm going to take that and plug it on in. So now we have the coefficient of performance equals W plus Q sub C all over W. All right, and remember, now the whole goal is to solve this for the work. All right, so we can do this in a couple of ways. Uh, let's cross multiply the work first. So it's going to be coefficient of performance multiplied by the work will equal the work plus the Q sub C. Um, why don't we get like terms on the same side? So I'm going to subtract the work on over to the left. All right, so this is coefficient of performance times the work minus and the work is equal to Q sub C. These two things have a common factor of work in them, right? So I can factor that out, meaning this would then become coefficient of performance minus one. That's equal to Q sub C. And then I can divide this on out, right? So I realize that the work here is going to be equal to Q sub C divided by coefficient of performance minus 1. And here you go. All we now need to do is plug it in, okay? So Q sub C was the value that they gave us, the 4184, divided by coefficient of performance, which is 4.24, and then subtract 1 from it. Now remember, this value is in kilojoules, which is okay, because they're, it's unit less on the bottom. So whatever, if I put kilojoules in, I'm going to get kilojoules out. So we'll take 4184, divide it now by 4.24 minus 1. And we get a value of about, so where should I put this? I'll put it on the top. That for letter B here, the work uh, was about, yeah, 1,290 kilojoules. Okay, so that takes care of that. Great. Let's take a look now at letter... Um, Letter C, I guess. Let me see if I can just move this over a little bit. All right. And <clears throat> all right, let's just let's just do it. Letter C. What is the cost of doing this work? Uh, if doing this work that we just found costs 10 cents per this many joules. Well, that's fine. So they told us the kilojoules or not told us, excuse me. We calculated the kilojoules of work, right? We can simply convert this into uh, joules. I know that they're telling us a, 
10 cents per joule value. So just convert this quickly into joules. Since I don't have space here, I'm just going to do it basically in my head, right? You just can multiply by 1,000. So this would be 1,290,000 joules. And now take that value, 1,290,000 joules, and then simply multiply it by now your conversion rate. It costs 10 cents. So in terms of a dollar, that's 0.1. And then the uh, $0.1 is basically per 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. Joules cancel, leaving you with dollars, and we're good to go. So this is, let's see, I'm going to use the exact value in my calculations too, just to keep in mind. Divided by 3.6 times 10 to the 6th. And here we're going to get a total cost of about 35, you know, 36 cents or so. 36 cents. All right, roughly. Okay, that takes care of that. And then how about now letter uh, D? How many kilojoules of heat transfer occurs into the warm environment? So basically they're asking us to now solve for Q sub H. So more than likely, I mean most likely the easiest way to do this is to probably use this particular formula because we know all the other variables, right? It's gonna be the work is equal to Q sub H, the heat transferred into the warm environment minus the heat transferred from the cold environment. So if I want to solve this for Q sub H, just simply add this on over to the left-hand side. So we're going to get the work plus then the Q sub C will equal Q sub H. And just plug in, right? I mean, we found the work. Now just be careful if you want your answer in joules or kilojoules. I'm going to use kilojoules. Um, so this is 1,290, roughly, uh, kilojoules. Plus then the value of uh, heat transfer they told us from the cold environment was 4,186 kilojoules, 4186, and that will now equal then the right, heat transferred into the warm environment. So this is, uh, let me use the exact number there for the joules, one second, clear. Okay, uh, for the joules of work that is, and then add that to 4186. So this is gonna work out to be about 5,480. Roughly kilojoules is going to be equal to the Q sub H. All right. And then uh, discuss what refrigerator. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with the next problem. Take care. It's a freezer, by the way.